what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys all the things that i got from the kkw beauty sale that she just had humongous sale like anywhere from 50 to 75 percent off it was awesome i really didn't have a lot of her makeup before but i do now let's just i do now uh she too just like kylie cosmetics shut down or will be shutting down she shut down as of august 1st um to revamp go vegan clean blah, 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 all that stuff but i was excited because i got makeup for like a quarter of the price it would have cost me and if you guys know like kkw beauty it's expensive okay it's real expensive so the price i paid for the amount of makeup i got phenomenal but before we get into the video if you are new here hi i'm jamie v if you're not already subscribed you should hit that subscribe button for me and the bell notification so you can be notified when i upload i do upload three new videos every single week so just make sure you don't miss out on any of those and without further ado we're gonna get into this video Okay, for a couple of things we need to talk about before I even touch these boxes. Okay, a couple of things. One, there's a fly. <laughs> I don't know what it is with this summer, but like they, they have keys to my front door at this point. I don't know what to do. They keep getting in and I don't know what to do and they literally drive me insane. There is nothing more annoying than a fly and just a... But anyways, oh, almost... That was the old me. That was the old me. Second, I bet you're noticing something a little bit different behind me. Uh, I got a little backdrop. Uh, I'm going to be changing it and doing different colors with it. Uh, I'm so excited. Okay. But I just thought I would let you know that. I do know that you can see a shadow. I have to get a backlight for my or hair light for the back of me just to make it look a little bit more pleasing than seeing my shadow moving around. But for right now, I just wanted to kind of test it out. So tell me what you guys think. What are we, what are we thinking? Do we like how like light it is? It lights up my entire video because it's just like, nah. but second thing, third thing, flies, backdrop. Okay. KKW Beauty. I don't have a lot of her stuff. I never really did have a lot of her stuff. I did an Ulta haul recently, last month maybe, yeah. And I got quite a bit of stuff, I mean, maybe like four or five products of hers because it was going on sale, um, like it had just gone on sale. Then I got a few things from when it had first went on sale from her website. So this is literally like the second and third purchase from her website. But I also got some from Ulta. So what happened was it started to go lower or higher and higher on sale, like 60% off, 75% off. And that is what I did. So the last one I did was from, I want to say the 31st of July or literally the 30th. I got literally the last things that I wanted just to see how like far it went on sale. But I got a pretty good deal on all this stuff and I'm really excited to show you guys. And my hair's a hot mess and we've been talking way too long. So I'm going to get into it. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I feel like I talk a lot. That's okay. Like that's that's who I am. But like sometimes I'm just like get to the fucking point. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna put the sale prices versus the actual prices if I can find them online on the screen somewhere. Just because I don't think I'm gonna be able to access the prices um, because they're no longer available. But if I can I will put it down below. If not, I will at least put the sale price of what I paid for it so you guys know. So the first thing that I'm pulling out here is the KKW Beauty Powdered Contour and Highlight Kit. Now, this was, I'm pretty certain, really expensive when it first launched, like $40, almost $50. And I was just like, no. <laughs> no. But getting it like half off, I was like, hmm. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. So I did get it in the shade, I think, medium. I got it, yeah, in medium. So you get highlight one, highlight two, contour one, contour two. I don't know if those are actual colors. I didn't realize it was a highlighter. I thought that they were like setting powders, if you will. Show those to you. And then I will swatch them on my hands. This might be have to be a winter situation for me. Because those contour are not that dark. And if we're being honest, so these are very like not pigmented and these are very dull and kind of like pat like powdery that's why i thought it was a setting powder because they don't really give off like a shine and again as usual if there's anything you guys want me to try you can always let me know in the comments below and i will get a full review of that item up for you so the next thing i got was the camo palette she literally just launched this one this was one of the first things i had gotten when the sale started so i knew 
it wasn't the cheapest I could have gotten it but at the same time I really wanted to get it before it ran out and it was on sale because I think her palettes are usually I want to say like $48 in that range those colors are phenomenal oh my god I love them I love those I'll swatch a few, but I don't want to be here for 60 hours. So I swatched the three that I feel like I thought was like the prettiest. Oh, there's that. These are going to be ugly swatches, okay? So these, I feel like, aren't really shimmers. Maybe more like toppers, but that's a pretty pigmented green. So I'm wondering how it's going to go. Again, it's a swatch. I don't really judge a lot of things on swatches alone, so I am going to try that one out, but I do feel like those are more like toppers than they are actual shimmers. So the next thing I got was this palette. This is the Matte Coco palette. It reminds me of the Kylie Cosmetics and um, Kim collab, their second collab, the sister one. That's what this color reminds me of. And like literally, I love this color. Ooh. And I keep like throwing that paper or the boxes. I keep throwing the boxes knowing that I need it to block this. So this is just a very neutral palette. Um, I don't think there's anything special. Doesn't smell like cocoa, so that's good because I don't like those. But it just comes with some really nice browns, some orange tones. It's a very warm tone palette, but I think you could literally create any matte look you wanted to with this. But also at the same time, it's a very basic palette. I just wanted to get it because it was cheap. So the next one I got was the Crystallized palette. This palette was literally $11.25. I don't know what it was originally, but again, I will look for them. Ooh, that's a very bright palette. And I don't mean the colors. I mean the actual palette is super, super white. This one is not as pretty in person as it was on the website. I'm gonna grab a couple just to give them a go. It just seems very, very basic and bland. Like, they're pretty colors, but they're not, like, ooh, that's actually really pretty. They're not, like, innovative. That's not good. Ooh. Okay. I'm here for this one, and th those are really pretty. Okay. So maybe it's not too bad. It just seems very black luster, if you will, on the website. Like, it just seemed, obviously, I know editing, photography, it just seems prettier, more Ooh, bang for your buck situation. So I'm glad I only paid less than $12 for that. So the next things I got, these are actually on a do not buy, not a do not buy, Jesus. These are actually on a anti haul list of mine and I got them. These are the eye contours. I thought these were the dumbest things she could ever come up with. I got them in medium and dark and they were, I got them on sale for $14. I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna try them for $14. What I was not gonna do, I think that they were originally like 28 bucks if I'm not mistaken, stupid fuck. But um, <laughs> because you can literally create the look she was saying you could achieve with any nude eyeshadows you had. Like at, I just saw the entire concept of the eye contour was stupid. If I'm being real, I don't like using that word, but it just really was not her best moment, if you will. So there are these little palettes and basically you get two shades one lighter shade one darker shade so i got dark one and dark two medium one medium two and you're supposed to like just use them as like a more naturally looking eyeshadow so like contouring it so what i do with my bronzer on a no makeup makeup day basically i put it all over my lid and then put a darker bronzer in the crease to make it look a little bit more defined so this is what they look like i mean i'm excited to be able to try them but i just don't they were not worth the 20 i think it was like 24 to 28 dollars she was charging for these and they were instantly on my auntie haul list because i was like bitch i'm not paying you that kind of money for two shadows that a bronzer could easily achieve so the next thing is this skin perfecting setting powder and i got it in shade one that's all they had left and then the darkest shade which i could not use oh that was open so there's the lid it was damn near off and then it's just like a very light powder Kind of like tilt it so you guys can see it. A little bit beige kind of, I would say. Not translucent, but definitely like a beige. <coughs> oh, it stinks. Ew, I did not like that at all. No ma'am. But I'm excited to try this because I wanted to try it, 
but again was not paying the amount of money she wanted for it so I got a concealer which is in the shade four and a half I think it was the lightest one I could choose for my skin tone and I think it was too light but I was like fuck it I want to try it so I've never tried Kim's concealers I've never tried any of her complexions I do not think so that's what that looks like so yeah that'll be fine it has some nice yellow undertone so I think that's gonna turn out really nice under my eyes it's not as light as I thought it was then I got a semi matte liquid lipstick which again first time getting one of her liquid lipstick and this is in HBD I have never bought any of her liquid lips I have plenty of her lipsticks and it's a semi matte so I love that it smells like a lipstick that's so pretty though look at that it has like just a nice little hue can you see the like the light shine off of it and it's like an ombre like orange to purple it's really pretty and it's in like my favorite freaking rosy pink tone ever and the next one is another semi matte liquid lipstick in warrioress warrior s warrior war warrior s I don't freaking know, man. This is from her new camo collection that recently dropped. So my thing is like these camo collections, it just came out like a couple months ago. It is more of a terracotta. Is that that color? Like a brownie red. So I love that. I can't wait to actually use those. So then the next thing I got was an eye contour brush. I wanted to get more of these, but when I went back on for my second order, they did not have anymore. So that's what that end looks like. And that's what that end looks like. So I got the double ended concealer brush from my Ulta haul or my first ever KKW beauty haul. And I literally fucking love that brush. So I went on there to get hella amounts of these and they had three. So that is it for the first box. We're going to hop right into the next box. If I don't break it all. The next thing I got was the honey matte honey palette Ooh. so just another nice neutral palette but i just really love these colors like these colors were definitely something i wanted and i try to limit myself to how much makeup i buy a month believe it or not i do try to limit myself um so i skipped on them but here they are here they are this is the matte mauve i just love a monochromatic palette and she was really really known for that more of a mature line more of a very opposite of kylie i feel like kylie was very like her generation like jams and right along that situation where i do believe that kim was kind of for her generation as well or our generation as well where it was very neutral very like nude and classic and no crazy packaging just very sleek very mature so i'm hoping that she kind of sticks to that with just like a little bit of a revamp if you will a little more spicy but like not too crazy where it's out of her personality if you will like these the first of all this is a beautiful palette i love purples so mwah, i love this i don't want it to be something that doesn't fit with her like i feel like if she came back with like color pop like oh i don't mean to say that because i know a little soon but with you know what i mean like bright crazy oh, like neon i would just be like that doesn't very that doesn't seem very Kim K to me if you will. so here are the two brushes I was just telling you about the concealed duo brush I have one that I got the other day it is a double-ended brush and I absolutely love this brush for setting my eyeshadow and blending and then I got this blush duo which came from the crystallized collection I don't really know what that collection was called that's just what I'm calling it and this is in the shade classic peach which oh my those are so pretty so pretty i'm not i guess like one is shimmery one is matte so you just kind of together so i'm excited to try that kkw beauty powder contour in seven i'm glad that i got it though because this is a little bit darker so that's nice that one looks like it's gonna fit me a lot better than those other ones yes for sure so that contour is gonna fit me a lot better so the rest are lip products I mean. Yep. That was nude eight and a lipstick i got the best of nudes i think it was called where it was like four nude lipsticks and i really did fall in love with her formula so i wanted to get some of the nudes that i didn't have that is nude eight it's just a red tone chocolatey brown that is a beautiful color and i got nude six oh i love these kind of lipsticks like the creamy bullet lipsticks 
versus a liquid lipstick. I do love a liquid lipstick, don't get me wrong. I just prefer the cream lipsticks better. This is Nude 4. I'm not showing you the package because literally they all look the same. I'm just showing you the swatch. Nude 4, pinky brown, pinky nude. Nude 7. Oh, I got like all the nudes. I didn't get any like reds. Oh no, they didn't have any reds left. That's right. I do have the best of reds though. I just didn't have any extra reds. So this one is nude seven. These are beautiful. The next one is 90s Vogue. And this is more of a uh, frosted container. Same concept. Oh my God, that's beautiful. No, it's gonna be, yes. I knew it was gonna be so pretty. Oh, it's like that berry color. Oh my God, that's gonna be perfect for fall. So I did get a nude for lip gloss, which I had picked up from Ulta. $16 at Ulta, by the way. $10 on her actual website. I don't know how much it is right now, but it wasn't $16. So that's nude four. I'm just using the one I have open. It's literally my perfect nude. It's the one I have on my lips right now. And then the last item I got was a nude five lip gloss, which is more of a rosy nude, rosy pink nude. And I have these nude lipsticks as well. So they're, I think they're gonna just look beautiful over top of them. So this one right here, it's just more rosy, more pink based. So I love those. I'm so excited. I love, 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 love when I can get a sale and I love, 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 love makeup. So we know that. But I'm so excited that I was able to get so much of her brand for so little. I mean, obviously I still spent quite a bit of money. It just is what it is. But at a fraction of the cost. So that is it though guys for my KKW Beauty sale haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see any of these things fully reviewed or looks done with them, comment down below as always and let me know. Also, let me know if you got anything from the sale. I know that a lot of people did, but I also know that it slowly but surely started to run out. It took it a while. So I'm wondering if one, no one cared or two, most people had already gotten these things when they launched. So they're just like, what the fuck? You know, so just let me know down below. What do you think? Did you get anything? But as always, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.